This field right here, mostly empty now, but come tomorrow night, it'll be the site of, con of a concert featuring one of the hottest names in country music. Our Nick Starling traveled to Miami County to see the excitement and concern for the latest stop in Luke Bryan's farm tour. There's a lot of anticipation for this event. The concert will be held just over there. Today they were setting up the lights and the tents, but this concert's being held on this farm, which is far away from the city. I'm excited. Wearing Luke Bryan shirts, Vicki Voles and her granddaughter Jody Clearwater are ecstatic about going to his concert out here. But the outside's wonderful. It is. It's you sit back and you enjoy. It's nice just being able to go out in the middle of nowhere and have fun. But that openness creates challenges. Going in and out of this space are two way rural roads. The Miami County Sheriff's Office urges you to use these routes highlighted in red to get into the farm. Our anticipation is to keep as much traffic off the roadway and in here. And once they get in here, then we can deal with them as they're in the parking area. Captain Matthew Kelly with the Miami County Sheriff's Office says upwards of 60 law enforcement officers will be out here, making sure everything's OK. Officer outside the venue as well that will be roaming around and monitoring, you know, illegal parking, suspicious activity, trespassing, that type of thing. It's that kind of activity that worries some neighbors. We've had problems here on the air park. It's such a wide open space that people have uh, driven down the road. They've uh, driven over the top of the mailboxes and uh, done uh, Wifferdales out here on the runway, torn up the runway. With nearly 250 acres of land, farm managers hope the thousands of visitors treat it with respect. We've kind of been promised that the land will be returned to us back how it was previously, and so that's kind of my hopes. It's a unique one-of-a-kind experience fans hope they'll remember for years on end, and maybe just meet the man they came here for. Luke, I'd love to meet you. <laughs> I would. I'd probably fall over, but I'd love to meet you. <laughs> so far, there's 12,000 tickets sold. Parking opens at 2 o'clock. The venue opens at 5 o'clock. The concert starts at 6.30 tomorrow evening. If you want tickets, we'll have a link on our website, KSHB.com. Reporting in rural Miami County, Nick Starling, 41 Action News.